Mizoram, a land of naturalistic splendor, of hills and dales and mountainous jungle terrain. Enjoying a strategic position in the northeastern sector of India, the Union Territory of Mizoram is now assured of statehood with special safeguards. The total land area of a little over 21,000 square kilometers has a population of nearly 500,000. Thus, Mizoram is well balanced for planned progress. An unhappy period of internal strife is over. The climate of violence has ended and calm now descends on Mizoram for a new era of peace and progress. The Mizo National Front, led by Mr. Lal Denga, has arrived at a political settlement with the government of India to bring to a close the secessionist movement in Mizoram. The Mizo National Front now stands irrevocably committed to join the Indian mainstream with total adherence to the Constitution of India. Mr. Lal Denga has pointed out the remarkable resilience of the Indian Constitution in offering a political environment for different ethnic groups of Indian society to fulfill their legitimate aspirations. The settlement in Mizoram should usher in a climate of peace in the northeastern region as a whole, strengthening national integration. dark jungles of Mizoram contain for over two decades the dense air of the secessionist movement. The political turmoil in what was then the Lushai Hill district of Assam disrupted the normal pattern of life of the Mizos almost beyond repair. of Mizoram as a union territory in 1972 held out hopes for peace, but the hopes did not materialize. The secessionist activities continued in spite of economic development of the region. Ever since Mizoram gained a separate entity as a union territory, the emphasis has been on permanent cultivation as against shifting cultivation prevent the loss of forest areas. Modern systems of communication were steadily introduced to knit the area both as a unit and as a strategic region of the country. The greatest asset of Mizoram is the literacy rate, 59.8% according to the 1981 census. Plans for progress failed to record any significant impact on Mizoram, for peace still remained a distant dream. The secessionist movement was casting its long shadow across the entire Union territory. The Union government, as also the Miso National Front, realized the need for direct discussions, for the law of the jungle holds no hope for anyone. Alas, the day Mr. Lal Denga was to meet the late Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, turned out to be one of the darkest days in the history of the nation.
Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi took up the threads in earnestness to weave a bond of lasting friendship and cooperation for Mizoram to progress as a peaceful and prosperous state of India. The 30th of June, 1986, a memorandum of settlement is signed in New Delhi between the government of India and the leader of the Mizo National Front. Speaking on the occasion, Mr. Lal Denga says, had it not been for the initiative of the late Prime Minister, Srimati Indira Gandhi, it would not have been possible to solve this problem today. It was she who has started in 1984. She had invited me to come to India for resumption of the talk. But it was so unfortunate that she was assassinated on the day I was to meet her. Now the accord, as we call it, Memorandum of Settlement was signed yesterday. And uh, in that accord, we have agreed to bring all the underground personnel overground and to join a civil life. 20 years of disturbed condition has created a lot of problem in the state of Mizoram. Like any other place of this tarp area, the people trend toward violence. Their thinking has to be chained. We have to bring them around, change their way of life, change their thinking. And that's the only way we can bring normalcy to Mizoram. And I'm very glad to say that the the Prime Minister has trusted us to share power with his party during the interim period. This is a remarkable thing, a remarkable thing that happened during this negotiation. It uh, clearly shows that the Prime Minister do trust us to handle the state of affair as soon as we come out of the underground. Therefore, certainly, we on our part will not betray the trust reposed to us. And I am certain that every person, every department in Mizoram, as well as here in Delhi, will support us. And we shall bring Mizoram back to normalcy and to go forward with the rest of the country toward uh, economic development. The 9th of July, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi arrives at Aizol, the capital of Mizoram. The signing of the peace accord has brought a wave of jubilation among all people, for the years of discord and despair have been laid to rest. The four-day visit of Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi dispels the cloud of distrust of the past. The accent now is on mutual trust and cooperation. Hailing the accord at a public meeting, Prime Minister Rajiv Gandhi says... We have kept our word, and just a few days ago... ...a settlement has been signed. In Ram Natsu, Dunazia Felaloni Ta. This settlement brings to an end two decades of insurgency and law and order and disturbances in Mizoram. Mizoram has suffered during these two decades. We hope that now a new dawn will come over Mizoram, a new dawn that will bring in the reuniting of families, the end of tensions, the reconstruction of villages, 
but basically, most important of all, the rebuilding of the economy of Mizoram. Prime Minister holds a series of roadside meetings and travels to the interior of Mizoram. Everywhere, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi assures the people of the center's determination to implement an accelerated program of development through a time-bound schedule. Mizoram awakens to the call of peace. Families long separated from their near and dear ones among the underground members of the Mizo National Front eagerly await the moment of reunion. Aldenga's appeal to all members of the Mizo National Front to come over ground and in an act of faith lay down their arms, ammunition and equipment meets with acceptance from all hideouts. established in southern and western Mizoram facilitate the return of underground members of the Mizo National Front. After laying down of arms, the members of the Mizo National Front are issued identity cards with photographs for their onward journey to Isol. National Front leader has now to prepare himself and his men for a new battle, a battle for peace, a battle against poverty.
members of the Mizo National Front who sacrificed their all for their people should find solace in this hour of peace. A new era begins in Mizoram with the swearing in of a Congress MNF coalition ministry. Mr. Lal Denga is the Chief Minister of Mizoram. Chief Minister Mr. Lalton Haula of the Congress is the Deputy Chief Minister. The Congress came to power in Mizoram in 1984 with the message of peace. The Congress will now act as a bridge between the Union Government and the Mizo National Front. The melody of peace bears its soft strains as Mizoram enters a new era.